Alright, Shalawan, Maka. Y'all would like to talk about some mind about Hassan, Mama, Siaki, You know, uh, Kalao, Yahweh, all praise to Yahweh. Um, you know, I'm gonna say, lock out Yahweh, walk with Yahweh. So, um, we wanna go into a little bit about this, uh, Luciferian thing, you know, some people, some brothers in GMS saying that they are Luciferians now. So we just want to go into a little bit about, um, for edification, say, to show that they're not speaking right about what they're saying. Uh, uh, you mind if I look up the word Luciferian on the, uh, on yeah. the real quick? Yeah, you can't. Come on, come on, go ahead. Alright, it's uh, cause, you know, they, they said they were uh, Luciferians, right? So I'm gonna read uh, Luciferianism off of Wikipedia, right? Which, this is what it says um, Luciferianism is a belief system that venerates the central characteristics that are affixed to Lucifer. It says, uh, the tradition influenced by Gnosticism usually refers Lucifer not as the devil, but as a liberator, a guardian, or a guardian spirit, or even the true God, as opposed to the says Jehovah. But now, go down a little bit, Spock. Yeah. This is from Wikipedia. I'm just reading some information of what they say about Luciferianism. Which they say sometimes mistakenly associated with Satanism due to the Christian interpretation of the fallen angel, right? Basically angel. Luciferianism is a wholly different belief system and does not revere the devil figure or most characteristics typically affixed to Satan. Rather, Lucifer in this context is seen as one of the many morning stars or a symbol of enlightenment, right? right and who have, have they, have this, uh, has been enlightened by, man? Hey, bro, bro. <laughs> bro. Hey. Hey, no. Right, Didn't it say that the angel will appear, that Satan will appear as an angel of light, bro? <laughs> can we get that? Can we get that, Bible question? Let me get that. You got that? You got it or you want me to grab it? Go ahead and grab it, man. Go ahead and grab it. Okay. Cause it's it's just ridiculous at this point. Like I'm so sick and tired of people trying to uplift Satan, even in TV shows, feeling sorry for him, like he just got done wrong, like he was a good stepchild that was get treated bad, man. Like people need to stop it, man. Like seriously. Whatever. Yeah, this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be the mistake I believe is in second for this is 2 Corinthians chapter uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 13 right and, and guess what they also call themselves the apostles now of the event mm -hmm. right we give double honors to our apostles and our elders right it says for such are false apostles God. right and, and these are false messengers man such are false apostles. Second Corinthians eleven and thirteen. For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into apostles of Hamashiach. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. It's all right, brother. The Lord told you to follow Lucifer. Nigga, you out your mind, man. And I don't give a damn. How old, how old you are or whatever your rank is, man. I don't care about that, bro, because at the end of the day, the Apocrypha teaches to let the instructions, right? It says, let no man cause thee to stumble and fall, man. Uh, uh, uh. What did I say? This is, uh, this Ecclesiasticus chapter 4, verse, uh, uh, 
22, accept no person against thy soul, and let not the reverence of any man cause thee to fall. Just because you want to reverence and give this man honor, don't let this man go, you know, have you go off, you know what I'm saying? Because if you blindly, the blind, they both gonna fall into a ditch, man. If he telling you to follow Lucifer, like, where you think you, who you gonna follow? If he's following Lucifer. Man. <laughs> There's not one scripture where Amashiach ever said to follow Lucifer, man. Hold on one second. Yeah, hold on one second. Right? And no marvel for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. So Satan's gonna say, yeah, baby, it's just light, baby. I'm, I'm, it's just, it just means light, bearer. Oh, it's all light, remember? Hey. Then they'll try, to, they'll try to twist scriptures and, and go find scriptures that talk about light and try to talk about like that's talking about the light of the law. No, you're not talking about the light of the law. You're talking about the light and, and dark secrets that you have hid. All right, that secret society, that Illuminati. Right. Right? Right. That witchcraft. Because at the end of the day, if you're dealing with Luciferians, you're dealing with witchcraft, because they're like that. They're talking about is their sorcery. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. So, I mean, you know, you got guys talking about the Lord told you to follow Lucifer. So, that's, that's you telling Israel to follow a witch, man. And you're supposed to be in some quiet in this thing, man. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that's what they, that's what Satanists do, man. They try to they play on words, man. All right, because they see the masses. Why do you think everybody be loving all them country community guys? Because they all big in their words, speeches, and how right. they Because so, like, they sound the educated, man. Yeah. All right. Get the scripture if I can get it real quick. Uh, Go ahead. Talk about how uh, maybe uh, uh, pretty much you know playing semantics on words, man. Bro, bro, can I get this? Let me let me get this real fast, bro. Real fast, bro. Because this this is where they try when you look up light bearer on it. When you look it up on the internet, hold on real quick. Like, let me scoot this back. Hello. And actually, they, 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 they just fulfilled Second Timothy chapter four, verse uh, verse three through uh, the four, man, which it says, uh, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth. And there's no, there's no scripture in the Torah that says follow Lucifer, man. So they just, they just turned away their ears from the truth, right? But this, this the one I wanted to get, bro. Yeah. Because when they talk about light bearers, when you looking it up on the internet and they talk about light bearer, this is what they referring to. Give me one second because this ain't okay. that You know, that's from you. It's all good. <laughs> but it's a, um, let me see, when you, what, which one was it? 16? I'm going to start at 15. It says, wait, wait. No, 13. It says, this is uh, Matthew 5 and 13. It says, ye are the salt of the earth. But if the salt have lost his savor, where would shall it be salty? It says, it is uh, thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of man. It said, ye are the light of the world, a city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men like a candle and put it under the bush under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto the heart, uh, unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your works, your good works. And glorify your father which is in heaven so it is not talking about lit, being a light bearer in that sense with Lucifer it has nothing it just says nothing about Lucifer man
Leviticus says what a commandment is a lamp. So Come. if you tell Lucifer is 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 the lamp, is, is Lucifer the commandment now? You talking about the Lord said follow Lucifer? No. The most I said follow commandments, man. That right. is the yeah. lamp <laughs> and the light. Where the woman says you honor Lucifer all his madness. And the law is light, right? The law is the true light, not Lucifer, false light, man. We're not following the false light, man. All right? Kyle, uh, one second. That's what it is, man. That's one of my hands. And I also want to get this one, too, for real. Real quick, let me just read this one more time. Uh, where was it? Uh, 5 and 16. Slop here. 5 and 16, it says, um, Let your light so shine before men. No, uh, 15, slop here. It says, Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, right? So when you was reading, it said the laws of commandment. I mean, the uh, what it says. Read that one more time. Read that one more time. I thought you was just reading, brother. No, Proverbs uh six. So what is that? The light, the um, the law is the light, right? And the candle is that thing that is that um holds it up so it can be seen before all men. Yeah, because you know the law is how we see. You know, because the law is the light. That's how we have to see. You know what I'm saying? So like, you telling me Lucifer helps you see? Yeah, you telling me Lucifer helps you see? You know what I'm saying? So like, you telling me Lucifer helps you see? Cause you know it's a scripture that says, um, what is it? What was it saying? That un that it was because of the law that we recognized that we were in sin. It helped us to see where we were sinning at. So it was, there was there, everything has a purpose, you know, and Mosa said that that law was there to let us see where we were sinning so we could adjust ourselves and walk in his laws, you know, walk that narrow path to not go against his laws and not to sin. But, but yeah, what he was talking about. That's an idle word as well, man. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to give a of that. Bro, oh yeah, let me get let me get where that's at. Hold on. But you know a lot of brothers, man, they they, they wanna get convinced and them things like that and don't wanna hear when what they call a brother that's lesser than they sell try to show them something. Let's see if I can find this. Oh, uh, go ahead. I'm I'm look, I'm looking real quick.
Catholic Church. The Catholic Church, they they uh they the ones that erase, you know what I'm saying, the, the, the true gospel and, and put that Catholic madness up in there. All right. Yeah, so I was gonna get this yeah, one because you know it's a lot of uh, people they not going to be reproved. Like I said, they not going to accept rebuke. I don't know if I'm echoing from your phone, but yeah, it's echoing through the phone. Yeah, it sounds like it's echoing. It's all good though. Um, like uh, this is a rock. Um, Thirty-two and seventeen say a sinful man will not be approved but find an excuse according to his will. Right, and what's the excuse? What brother, the word look the word Lucifer means light, brother. It means light, brother. <laughs> what's wicked about light? Bruh, that's not the right light, brother. Uh, you know the scripture says, uh the God the good is set against the evil man, the godly against the sinner man. Of course ain't gonna come as the angel of light with his false light, man. You don't go for the pump bake like that. <laughs> right. They go one of your favorites right here, right? Uh, what is it? Sirach 32, 21. Be not confident in a plain way. <laughs> Get that scripture for you. It's uh, Isaiah 5 and 20. Isaiah 5 and 20. Say, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil. Evil good and good evil. Right, because they did 
And it talks about him trying to take the position of the most high. No, I'm saying it talks about him trying to take the position of the most high too when lifting his um, throne up above the stars. God. And this is the type of talk, you know. And those are the type of people and the type of talk that mislead nations and kingdoms for us. It says, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness. Right, right. And I heard some of the stuff you were reading off the internet where it was talking about it just means to be uplifted or something like that in the light. Like, it's, it's madness, man. And it says, uh, they put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. So, that light in that context is dealing with negative darkness. That's false light. And it's like it's misleading, you know what I'm saying? They they know the scriptures. You know, when have they ever before now called their selves Luciferians, man? So that's that evil spirit jumping on them. Why is that? Time, bro. And you know why that is? Because a gift destroyed a heart. They see the pastor give somebody a little bit of something. And then they like, no, he's a good pastor. Just like, uh, man, just like the one the word church. Because he give away houses and he get people in houses and all that. Now people think he the best pastor ever, even though he robbing more than he giving. Yeah, but no, it's just like when you deal with, um... No, but just like when you deal with the word church and how, you know, they just like the rest of these churches, getting all that money, taking all them tithes, supposedly, they got ATMs in the churches and all that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Right. 
<laughs> That's great. All right. This is from 1854, before anybody was born today. This dude claimed that if you, uh, if you, if you follow a Lucifer, you a Freemason, man. Right? Well, you know. Look it up. Wikipedia. Leo Taxil from 1854 through 1907 claimed that Freemasonry is associated with worshiping Lucifer and what is known as the Taxil hoax. He alleges that leading Freemason Albert Pike had addressed the twin three supreme confederate councils of the world instructed them that lucifer was god and this dude was saying oh, elder to heart right elder uh i, I call him to shy like the brothers call him the horror shy because <laughs> you know what I'm saying? this dude really think he a mashiach bro uh -huh. you know and you know rashai mean evil so and his name is supposed to be pure so that's why we call him Tar Rashad, man. He's bringing pure evil, man. <laughs> Bro, look at the word Tar. It means pure or clean. And Rashad, you know Rashad is evil. Come, come. Oh, wicked. You know, like, what they say, Shalak, what they say, uh, uh, Shalak Rashad. I forgot it. Uh, Shalak Rayel. Yeah, Shalak Rayel. Brother, go crazy. I'm crazy. But look, at the end of the day, man, the dude said that Lucifer, this dude said that, they said that, uh, um, instructed them that Lucifer was God and was in opposition to the evil God, Adonai, so like Adawan or uh, Adon, trying to say the Lord is, is evil. Yeah, supporters, of Freemasonry, for, supporters of Freemasonry contend that when Albert Pike and other Masonic scholars spoke about the Luciferian past or the energies of Lucifer, they were referring to the morning star, the light bearer, the search for light, the very as this is of dark satanic evil. All right, so at the end of the day, the dude is speaking about Freemasonry being linked with Luciferianism, man. Right, bro. Cause think about it. they call right, themselves the enlightened ones, or they they say they enlighten. You know what I'm saying? You know, and we yeah. know, you know what to say about what they Lucifer. Enlighten on? They enlighten on those secrets. You know what I'm saying? Said, you know that um that doesn't mean like the like what they say light bearer it doesn't say light bearer in the Bible you know what I'm saying then they talk about uh the morning star so we Luciferians because we the light bearers but we bear the light of the law it's a different you know what I'm saying it's not bearing the light that Lucifer himself bared, or he was the morning star, so he, you know what I'm saying, shine, they want to get on that Rihanna shine bright like a diamond and all that type stuff. <laughs> you know what I'm saying, we, we about the law and commandments over here, man. You know when you look at words, my bad. I go ahead. No, no, I was just going into where it talks about devil and Satan, right? Where we know Lucifer is intertwined with those words. When you look up the word um, Satan here, we just get it. You know, it talks about uh, one that opposes, that's in opposition, the enemy of the Most High. So you want to call yourself an enemy of the Most High, bro, because Satan and the devil, which is interchangeable with Lucifer, you know, are the same people. 
So you want to yeah, call so yourself an enemy of the most high. Uh, we know we when we think about the devil, we think about the word Satan and Lucifer. They all the same. They all is wicked. And we could get it real fast, bro. Cause I will hold on. Let me get it. Get the devil. Devil definition. It says the chief evil spirit. Chief evil spirit. Satan. Synonyms. Satan, the Elzebub, Lucifer, the Prince of Darkness, the Evil One. So all of these are the same. Come, now we can go to Satan, bro. Let's go see what Satan means. Bro, he just called himself an enemy of God, bro. Satan, right? Mean an enemy or adversary. It's say a stray distance. Distant, I mean, or sometimes devil. Is a figure appearing in the text of uh, Ar Aramaic religions who brings evil and temptation and acts as a deceiver to lead humanity astray. <laughs> Come on, man. It means adversary of the most high also. So, I'm just saying, when it says, let your, shine, let your light shine before man, it's not talking about be a wicked, evil nigga. Because that's what you're saying. It's not talking about oppose the most high. It's not talking about be an adversary of the most high. Thing. That's what that means. And also, when you look at it, um, let me see real quick, bro. Look, this devil too, right? The verb, this is the verb for devil. It said, act as a junior assistant for a lawyer or other professional, right? That's what it said. That's what uh, the one of the definitions for devil is to act as a lawyer, bro. <laughs> but it says, harass or worry someone. He was deviled by a new found fear. Yeah, bro, so it ain't nothing good, man. And you know what else he's doing, bro? I don't mean to cut you off. What else he's doing? He is causing people to set up idols in their heart. He is now teaching people that Lucifer is good. 
that it's okay to call yourself a devil. Right. He teaching. Ah, you know he teaching people to be Satan worshippers, bro. He teaching people to worship the devil. Look, bro, that's the same as me saying. This the same as me saying. You know, we was Jews, not Luciferians. <laughs> Right, bro, and realize this: when we when we talk about being the light, like being the light of the world, we are talking about being the ones to lead people out of darkness, to lead people out of wickedness, to lead people out of sin by the light, which is the law. And what it say? This should be your wisdom. Tell, tell me he says the 
God of Israel. You just gonna stick with that, man, and not have a problem with it? Well, you know, that is the Saquon, man. We can't say nothing against the Saquon, man. Like, hey, man, like my one brother said, if he seen Abraham eating a pork, uh, pork chop sandwich, he don't rebuke Abraham, man. <laughs> Say a title. Hey, I'll show you a title of mine, man. Hey, even the one guy, Nathan, he rebuked King David and he was under King David. He rebuked the king, man. Let me get this out. Let me get this out. Look, bro. This uh, Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 4. It says, But ye that did cleave unto Yahweh your power are alive every one of you this day. Verse 5. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the how of my power commanded me that ye sh that ye should do so in the land whither ye go to possess it. Verse 6. Keep therefore and do them. For this is your wisdom and the and understanding in the in the uh, sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, surely this is a nation. Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. So that's the same thing, the light, the understanding. You know, we get wisdom by keeping the law. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, nowhere does it say Luciferian. Nowhere does it say that you are called, you shall be called Luciferians. You know, he said, I named, he said, he changed his name from uh, Jacob to Israel, not Jacob to Lucifer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man, man. Brian, he called you. He didn't change his name to Jacob and Lightbearer, did he, brother? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, bro. Oh, man. But, you know, they put they put words, oh, man. That's what, this way you, this is a perfect example of somebody leaning on their own understanding. It's crazy, man. Gain any old, old, no? 
but there is a spirit in man. And the inspiration of the Almighty. And the inspiration of the Almighty giveth them understanding. It says, and the inspiration of the Almighty giveth them understanding. And great men are not always wise. Great men are not always wise. Just because you're great don't mean you're wise. Neither do the age understand judgment. Says where where it's where where it uh Job twelve and uh, twenty. Job twelve, 12 twenty. 12. He removeth away, away the speech of the trusty. Take away the understanding of the age. And take it away the understanding of the age. This one. So yeah, man, Israel, man. Sometimes, man, you might not have an elder to trust in, man, because 
you know, a lot of these elders, they, they, they're too high and mighty, man. And the Most High told us, uh, you know, to not think of ourselves more than we ought to think, man. Bro, hold on one second. Let me get it. Let me get something. I'm going to just speak on it. Don't it say, the more thou art exalted, the more thou humble thyself. And it also says, it says, don't, pretty much, don't raise yourself up, but let another man do it. But I want to get this real quick, if I can. Uh, it says, this is uh, Proverbs 9 and 10. It says, the fear of Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom. And the knowledge of the Holy One is understanding. So, you can't just go off of man's understanding. You have to get the understanding from the Most High. Because at times, you'll have men misleading you. Especially if they have a big camp like that. And they want to keep it as big as it is. They're going to keep pushing what they know will get souls to come and follow them instead of what should really be taught. Let me, let, real quick, Ike, if I can. This is uh, Proverbs chapter 8, verse 33, right? It said, Hear instruction and be wise and refuse it not, right? Now, I'll go back down to uh, Proverbs 9 and 10. It says, The fear of Yahweh is the beginning of wisdom. And it says in um, Proverbs 8 and 33, hear instruction and be wise. So you get wisdom by hearing the instruction of the Most High. But if you're listening to your elder and receiving everything he says as instruction and not really doing no research yourself, you can be misled that way. Right? 
Lucifer is an evildoer. He's to destroy the nations, man. For I will keep the commandments of my God, man. We're going to follow the God of Israel. We're not going to follow Lucifer, the God of this world. Nah, man, man that's, that's what it is. They trying to lead people to follow man and not all uh, the most hot, bro. Hey, uh, give me Psalms 101 and 4 as well, if you could, Bible Shot. trying to follow the wild road. Received the word with readiness, they was ready to accept the word in their heart. But it says, and also, and also, they were they said they were no, they were more noble than those of Thessalonica. And the word noble means royal. So these were brothers that were carrying themselves as the Israel of the Most High, the Israel of God, like it says in Galatians. They were uh. carrying themselves as the true son of the sons, man. All right, that's that's the son of the Most High doing that, man. That, like that brother just read in Acts. And it says. Say they just tell me Lucifer, I follow Lucifer, brother, it only be light, and I'm just supposed to accept that and shut the hell up. Right. <laughs> but it said also. Get it more, get it more, brother. Uh, it said, and, uh, and uh, search the scriptures search daily the scriptures. where the those things were so. God. The Lord didn't tell us to follow Lucifer, man. The Lord actually condemned Lucifer in the book of Isaiah, the 14th chapter, not to follow him. God, he mangled God. the scripture. He went mangled maniac on the scripture, man. <laughs> but I also want to get uh, uh, Psalms 109 and 6. It's pretty much he put a curse on everybody, bro. Uh, yeah, and that's that's sad though. How he misleading on the brothers in his camp with that man. So that definitely. Yeah, it's, it's terrible, bro. 
Definitely don't mean. Hey, that's like, bro, these, all these dudes are doing some super wicked stuff, man. You got Cuffy saying he's the comforter. This dude saying he's a uh, man. Look, he said bro. that he's Lucifer. You know, I love General Ray Hunter, but he's talking about he's the only man that can bring this nation back, bro. Like these dudes are saying some crazy stuff, bro. You got IUIC uh, side niggas they under a contract where they consider Muslim and Islam, bro. So like it's crazy, bro. Man, look, bro. They said we supposed to be set apart, man. How y'all set apart when y'all considered as the other heathen nations? Because a lot of people think, you know, just because it's big numbers, man. Y'all gonna, y'all gonna realize, say you got numbers as well. Okay. He got the biggest numbers. <laughs> and it ain't the one of Israel, so we ain't new bro. <laughs> And this, real quick though, and it's like this: if if we call Luciferians, who is who is we fighting against, man? <laughs> Can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> They crazy. You Nephilim, you the apostles, you Luciferians. Like, hey, they becoming Esau. They want to be everybody. The one brother from Jim and Chicago, Uriah, he said that uh he said the elder Tahor sitting in her shot y'all shot seat on earth right now, bro. That's the vicar of Christ. That's what the Pope the, the Pope is supposed to be uh considering Christ well, on earth. Right, saying that about Peter. That's insane, y'all. Oh, man. Man, it's not the scripture saying false, it's saying false Christ shall arise, man. Did like it not? Like the police try to act like he's the uh, Messiah on earth. Uh, then you got certain people, you got certain Israelites that think that they can only bring this nation together like you from Mashiach, man. Man, look, you know bro. Man. Just like, like my Akarat to Zion say, man. I'm just a nigga trying to make it to the kingdom, man. <laughs> <laughs> they gonna make me go get past her rats on, man, man, cause man, it's a lot of false love going out of here, it's false light out here, man, you got people flexing like they got the light when they're dealing with the light of this world, the light of Lucifer, man. it's crazy, man. It's madness, bro, that's... Are you gonna get that verse from me? Bro? Yeah, I got, I got you, man, it's just, I'm just saying, man, it's just like they trying to uh, put... Satan in the most high seat and put the most high in Satan seat. Like they trying to lower him. They trying to lower the most high, man. Hey man, you know they trying to do that new world order thing, brother. So you know, all bring all religions together. So you know, it's gonna you gonna hear a lot of crazy madness at the end. You know, gets drives near and near. That's why you gotta have it's a spirit. Worse, bro. I believe it's gonna get even worse. Did not Paul say? Uh, Sean Wall said he said uh, and deceivers and, and evil doers show wax worse and worse. Deceiving. And being deceived. So they say these these deceivers, they get deceived themselves and they out here deceiving dudes, man. It's terrible, bro. Ah, can you please get the one scripture real fast where it say if it were possible they would deceive the very elect? Kind, 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 kind. We'll go get that. And that's what they're trying to do right now. Yeah, that's exactly and what they're doing. If you're getting deceived, if you're going for that, you might not be an elect, man. Yeah, this man. is from Matthew chapter 24, verse uh, 24. Right? It said, I'll start at verse 23. Then if any man shall say unto you, look here is the Hamashiach, or there, believe it not. For the, right? He, here is the anointed, right? He's Christ. Here is Christ. Because you got a lot of people talking about they're the anointed one. They're the only one anointed to bring this thing back, man. That's pretty much calling himself the Messiah. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. For, it says, believe it not. For there shall arise false anointed, right? Or false Christ. And false prophets who talk about follow Lucifer. <laughs> and right. signs and wonders in so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. And check this. A sign and a wonder ain't got to be something that's in the sky. They can just deceive through the scriptures. And you use that magic with these 
these scriptures. It's like these uh, these Christians are using sorcery, which is that rebellion. That's that's those signs and wonders that uh, witchcraft, that rebellion. Man, that's crazy. But I'm gonna get this for you. Uh, you said 109 from the top. And what's one of those other signs? They got this big fat ass cap, man. You right. Look at that, like, oh man, this gotta be the end, man. They gotta be the man, man. They the probably said the, the scribes of Pharisees uh, can pass seeing mountains to make one proselyte, man. Hey, I got a question. I, I got a question. I got a right, question. Bro. Now, all the all the benefits that they have. With these big camps and all that, and all the money that they get, and getting people to get them gifts, and get people to get them ties and all that, what would they do if your house shot was here, like you told the one guy, told the one brother, give up all you have and follow me, give all your money, all your riches away and follow me, what would they do, bro? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like the brothers you don't really see, the brothers you really gonna hear from, them the brothers that's catching the hell for real, man. And nobody just is, is, is there to help these brothers, man. Right. They're all scattered everywhere. And tell you once after Hamashiach and Yahushua died and all that, man, it said all the disciples was being scattered, man. We it was it was going it was getting crazy, man. Just like kinda how it is now. You know, all the real brothers that's sincere, they all scattered in, 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 in small sanctuaries. No way. Uh, Lucifer gets bigger and bigger, man. And it's like if you ain't suffering, like, man, is you really in man. Hamashiach, man? If you ain't suffering, like real talk, man, you like he said that we would be in poverty and we would be the ones that's poor and afflicted. Yeah. Right. <laughs> and it's And like I'll say like this, it's no it's no hatred or no bad feeling. I'm just saying the most high, you know, he said that we would be in poverty. This ain't all rest. We would be going through it, you know. Yeah, cause uh the most high is dealing with the poor man. He's not dealing with you high mighty up, you higher ups, man. He's dealing with the low. Well didn't know they say in uh Apocrypha that the uh mysteries are revealed unto the meek and the lowly and whatnot? Right, and it said it would be harder for a rich man to enter into the kingdom. And some of y'all ain't even rich. James chapter 2, verse 1, it says, I'm going to read that verse uh, verse 4. Well, I started one. My brother, have not faith of our Lord, of my Shaka Shah, the Lord of glory, with respect to persons. For if there come unto your assembly a man with a gold ring, goodly apparel, and there come in also a poor man in vile raiment, and ye have respect to him that wears the gay clothing, and say to him, sit thou here in a good place. And I'm, I'm glad that I'm at the state I am, bro, because, like, that show you we struggling now, man. That means we not comforted yet, man. The scripture says, well, it's, I mean, uh, bless her ye when uh, you, you're seeking to be comforted and all that and, and to be filled and all that, man. We need all that, man. Right. Good. James two and five. Hearken, my beloved brethren, have not Yahweh chosen the poor of this world? Have not Yahweh chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, man? And I was just looking at myself the other day, man. Like I went, bro. Like I'm really rich, man. God. Israel. 
Israelites run to the fancy Israelites and they're gonna get deceived and get link up with a Luciferian in the Mason oh, instead right. of uh, building with the lowly. Which right. the scriptures tell you better it is to, uh, to be, uh, be with the lowly than divide spoil with the proud, man. And all these dudes that got all this power, they're proud, man. And then, you know what I'm saying, you get under them and all confusion happens, and then, hey, man, you know, you ask for it. Then you want to get sorted when you find out, you know, they're doing some madness behind the scenes. Right. And don't say, brother, they try to warn you. <laughs> Right, having me sign right. floors. Yeah, I was shy. You know what I'm saying? They had lowly camps, man. You know? Right, it was even times, bro, where they had to, he had to go get some fish out the lake, bro. They didn't always just have big old cookouts and stuff. Right. Right, right. You know what the problem is? Bro, he had to, he had to, he had to bust down five fishes, man. <laughs> Uh, and you know the thing is, with the brothers that's poor and lowly now, once things jump, they gon' they gonna know how to deal with it. Just like you had a bums on the street in disasters, they know how to survive and deal with it. But these people that's been up high and been used to their little cozy, comfortable home, they lose their mind and don't know what to do. And a lot of people gonna probably commit suicide when they get really bad because they were always lived in comfort. They always had a, a nice plate. They always had food. And they always had always had the soda to wash it down with, had the had the strong drink. And once that's right. taken away from it, you don't have your comfort. You're not going to know how to be like these rough child. Once they, they go bankrupt, they go commit suicide some damn way. Yeah. And that's why I'm glad I knew how to survive, bro. I, you know what I'm saying? I ain't so bring with Raymond to the kingdom because if I got to. All right. We'll eat seeds and bottles of water if it's a punch. <laughs> Kill a nigga for a bag of chips. You say what? Galatians chapter 1 verse 6 I marvel 
that ye are so soon removed from him. that ye are so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Hamashiach unto another gospel. So he's saying he marvels that the brother that showed you the way of Hamashiach and you were so quick to leave him and go to another brother that taught you a different doctrine. Yeah, and what's that another gospel? Follow Lucifer. The Lord told you to follow Lucifer. It says, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and would convert the gospel of Hamashiach. Right, and that's what he did. He perverted the gospel of Hamashiach by saying the Lord told you to follow Lucifer. Which Hamashiach didn't say none of that madness. Oh, oh get your Lucifer on. <laughs> right. Did you just tell me to get my Lucifer on? <laughs> right. <laughs> Go ahead, bro. And that's the same thing, man. Like, same thing. Right, we'll get to that another time. But, uh, verse 8. But. Hey, man. Paul, did not Paul say, let no man deceive you? Paul uh, said that, man. Uh, he said, let no man deceive you, man. It don't matter if it's it, whatever, man. Don't let nobody trick you, man. You got you letting these dudes trick you like that and tell you to follow Lucifer, and that's all good and, 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 and lollipops, man. Mm. Uh, Read. Says, <coughs> but thou, but though uh, we are an angel from heaven. So Paul tell you, even if we did this, or if a, even if an angel from heaven did this, man. Preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you. Let him be a curse. Let him be a curse. See that? So even if an angel was to teach a different gospel, man, you're you're gonna be a curse, man. You going against the, the gospel of the, the Messiah? The Hamashiach. Huh. So Paul, Paul even said, even if an angel, man, so how much more an elder on earth, man? Verse 10. Right, he's putting curses on himself. Go ahead, huh? Huh. Says, for do I now persuade men or the most high? Or do I seek to please men? For if I yet please man, I should not be the servant of Hamashiach. 